everybody. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. Um, I thought I'd get back on here before I get too far along with the journal. Um, this is part of the uh, journal start to finish series I've created. I've also done a playlist so that you know if you want to follow along this, you, it'll be easy for you to find, and it it covers you know up to this point on how I created the cover, and now I'm just starting to show how I um, do my journals, and uh, everybody's got their own way, so this is just my way. So when we left off, I had already showed you, you know, the pages I had chosen. Um, I've added this to the, the front cover, but within the two signatures, I've gone ahead and done everything that I think I'm going to be doing as far as the machine, because it's, it, you have to do that first. So, I've added some pockets, because these are going to have two tags here, and I've done some embellishing. I won't do a lot, you know, I haven't done much embellishing so far, because I don't like to do all that before I sew it in. It's just, everything's bulking up, you see. But it is important that I do everything on the machine prior to, and this, this was one of the pockets that I wanted to sew in prior and then this will have a little flip up. But anyways, I won't go. I'll just quickly go through and show you where we're at at this point. Um, this has been stitched. I just put those in there just so I'd remember. But to be honest, when I get ready to sew that in, I'm going to take those out. Um, so all of my machine stitching, I've gone ahead and done. I've added, um, like I said, that I probably shouldn't have added. But... It's very difficult when you're trying to hold back, you know, for the video. So um, here I've done some, just, these aren't tuck spots. They're just little um, embellishments at the, the, you know, for the edges of the page. And these, I will come back and add some more stuff. But as I said, I just wanted to try to go through and stitch and add in what I wanted to before we start sewing this in because um, the next thing I thought I would do on here is I want to do some stenciling and that's another step that you would want to do prior to um, you know obviously I, this this little series um, I suppose is is aimed more towards somebody who is just starting out and is feeling a little bit overwhelmed because I absolutely did guys I felt so overwhelmed when I um uh, just one second guys I'm gonna have to move this sorry about that I did not have that camera where it needed to be okay so yeah when I started out I felt super super overwhelmed um, with trying to gather things and you know sometimes I would so think the signatures in and then realize oh I should have done you know this step prior to um, that's just all part of the learning um, experience and everybody's going to go through that so but I'm just going to try to guide you you know on how I I do it and it's not always um, you know oftentimes I still have to come back anyways let's get going this is, um, this stencil, I think it was an Anna Griffin, and I got it at the um, Hobby Lobby. But I love this one. It's got a nice, um, it's, this has a really pretty image. So I just thought I could kind of chat on here while I'm doing some stenciling. Because there's not going to be a lot that I've got to do. Because you'll see I've got a lot in this journal. So a lot of the pages are covered. <laughs> but just little bits. Um, and then this was a flip over. So I'm going to do a little bit up here. So um, I hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a really nice weekend this, this weekend. Yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I had posted some... Uh, 
pictures, we went out for a hike. Well, it was going to be a walk, and it kind of turned into a hike. Um, but it was over in Wales. Uh, I'm 10 minutes to the Welsh border. So this particular walk, it takes us about 30 minutes to get over to it. And um, it is one of the nicest walks I've ever done anywhere. Um, beautiful. The weather, it was just everything. You know, the weather was perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. <laughs> um, dry, blue, you know, blue skies. There's a few clouds. I don't, it's very rare that you get a completely clear day. There's almost always a few clouds hanging around. But it was an absolutely beautiful day. Very busy here on the weekend. So, you know, it doesn't always work out. But we really like, if it can work out, we prefer to have our days off through the week. Because England is very congested on the weekends at places like that. But we are early risers, so we got out there early enough that um, we beat the crowds. Because as we were leaving, it was really filling up. So I was really glad that we had gotten there um, as early as we had and done it. But it ended up being about a four-mile um, walk. And, um, you know, we had some steep inclines, but some of the little um, <clears throat> cottages that we passed were just gorgeous. Uh, one in particular had um, the beehives out in, in the garden. Oh, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful area. So yeah, that was a real treat to get out and, and get to do that. Um, so that, let me see if there's any other page I want to put a bit of stenciling on. Put a little bit on this one. That seems a little bit plain to me. Um, and yeah, I'm not done with the embellishing, as I said. I, I thought that that might be a nice thing to actually do on camera, but the the way my sewing machine is set up, it, it really, there's just no way for you to, um, <coughs> to be able to see, you know, when I'm working on it. And you can see the stitching and what the result was. So I don't feel like I did anything that um, that you guys have missed out on. Just put a few more. Okay, that's, I'm actually happy with that because I don't want too much. <clears throat> Alright, so that is how that one is looking. Um, as I said, I've gone through and done some of the decorative stitching. And so that one I feel happy with. This is going to be the second signature. Um, again, I probably should have held off, but because um, it is getting bulk, bulky and it makes it harder to sew in. But this one, these are little um, tuck spots there. And this will flip open. We've got another tuck spot here. I did some stamping there. So let's put... I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling on this page. And I think you can see... This is um, definitely a rose-themed journal. I love roses. I, I just love flowers, period. I, I said if I was... Um, well, when I get self-sufficient, I hope to grow enough that I can have fresh flowers in the spring and summer. But um, until that happens... I just have to have them scattered around in journals and wherever I can because I do love flowers. That was one of the things um, I really noticed when I when I moved here is 
you tend to find more, you know, within the grocery store you see more of the fresh flowers for people to buy. And I think it's just kind of, um, I mean, I'm probably generalizing, but it, it just seems to be the norm here that when you do your grocery shop, they, they tend to buy flowers for the house. And I think that's a really nice thing that <clears throat> I'd like to do more of because it's just nice to have them in, in the room. So that's that's definitely something I noticed here is it's just you find in the stores they carry them and they're not like crazy money. Whereas, and I don't know if that's because, well, I don't know the reason why they're, well, Groceries in general are cheaper here. So that's probably something Americans don't realize, or Canadians, unless you've been here. Um, when I first came over, the um, everything in the U.S. was cheaper. Everything. Now, and I know because I've lived back in the U.S., I've never cut ties. I still have... You know, <laughs> it's not like I've walked away from the U.S. and, and don't know what's going on. Because I go back over there all the time and I cook when I'm there for my dad and when I can, you know, the kids. And so it is just unbelievable to me how expensive groceries have gotten in the United States of America. And it's there's no reason for it. With all of the farms that we've got, it's just ridiculous that uh, Americans are having to pay what they are for for food, and it's not even nutritious, you know, nutri <laughs> nutritious food. Um, so yeah, it's pretty shocking, and uh, I feel I really feel bad for my daughter and son because. Um, it, the United States has made it to where it's cheaper to eat out um, junk than to prepare a healthy meal for your family, and I don't understand it. <laughs> so that's a big, big difference. Um, housing here is still very, very expensive compared to the U.S., but that depends, too, on the part of the U.S. US that you live in. Um, the South, you know, is, is really you can still get a nice property for reasonable money. But here it is incredibly expensive. But that would be the only thing is housing now. Um, to run a car, insurance, to buy a car, everything is cheaper than the United States. So yeah, that's um, that's one of the big things I've really seen a major change. Because um, as I said, you know, when we Paul and I first met, he would come over and he just couldn't believe how cheap it was there. But not now, not now. So you can see I'm just kind of going ahead and I want to tone these down just slightly. They're aged very beautifully, but I think to be in keeping with, you know, the, co the cover, I want to make sure that it's not too bright in comparison. Beautiful images, aren't they? These are all from Calico Collage, so check her out. She's on Etsy. Um, you're probably already familiar with her, her designs. They are very, very pretty. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, let me see. What else do we want to put a bit of stenciling on? I think these pages need a little bit just to spruce those up.
So the, another big, big difference um, between the U.S. and here, but having said that, you know, this is just, keep in mind, I'm talking about the difference between South Georgia, North Florida, and England. <laughs> um, because I know if you're up in the Northeast or out West, you, you know, you're probably going to have experienced it something very different because um, we're really into music and I kind of keep up with the music scene and you know festivals and things that are going on in the US so I I know it's you you guys have a lot more to do up in um, New England and Oregon Washington all that but where we were from you know which was South Georgia and North Florida um, very little to do, very little, and um, so here, within an hour drive, you know, hour radius, there is just always, always something going on, and I love that. I really, really love that. Not that we do it. But if we want to and have the time to do it, there's always something going on. And that's a big, big difference between, um, you know, where I'm from and, and here. Um, I went ahead and added a little pocket here, guys. That was part of this um, this kit, so that's a little tuck spot in there. Um, just still... Still looking over places that I feel like need stenciling, and I'll be honest, I'm pretty... Let me just do a bit on this page. Get that back in there. I don't want to get those out of order. Um, I'll do just a little bit on here just to add a, a bit more interest. So... Like I said, you know, when I'm creating, and not always because you, I think you guys can tell by now, I have such a mix on, on my journal making, and I do often wonder if that hurts me. Um, but I, I do need to keep trying different things. And so because, you know, this is how I create them, I'm always thinking in terms of the person who's going to buy this journal. You know, they're, they're I don't, and i got to be careful because I never, never want to uh, be in, you know, I don't want to offend anybody else because everybody's got their own style. And obviously, you know, there's a lot of different style journals being sold, so not everybody likes what I do, and I know that. <laughs> I'm very much aware that I, I, some people want it much more embellished, and I see a lot of journals that are a lot less embellished. But for me, I try to think in terms of somebody who's going to be journaling. You know, these things you can still journal over, but it gives interest to the page when they're just flipping through it. Um, and that's why I tend to leave probably, in comparison to other people, maybe I leave more pages um, that aren't embellished. Um, so that's kind of my thinking behind it. And it's there's no <laughs> right or wrong with this because, as I said, you only need to look through a very few um, artists and see that there's there is a market for journals that have pockets and are stuffed on every page of the journal because those sell and I've seen journals that have nothing but paper and book pages put into them not even park pockets um, and I've sold a couple of those recently as well because I'm trying to thin out you know some of my stash so that's just my thinking you know when I'm doing stuff I'm thinking we well, have I left enough so that they can add their um, memorabilia, create their own pockets. They've got tags and things that they've made. Because I think anybody who does journal, 
probably is dabbling in crafting as well. So that was long-winded, wasn't it? <laughs> um, okay, so I think I think I'm ready now to sew these in. And I'm not going to do this on camera, guys, again, because I have done that in a previous video. So you can go back and check. Um, I did a um, fabric covered journal tutorial. It'll be within the tutorials section. <clears throat> but honestly, there's enough um, tutorials on there that have better lighting and better camera than what I can show you on here. You're not going to even be able to see it because of the way the angle of the camera is. But I will just say the only thing, and I do think that this is super important, um, is I, I always have little templates made up like this is a two signature I've got one in there for a five a three um, I'm trying to think I don't think I've ever done more than five signatures um, so I just think these are important because I then place this because I already know how far they're spaced apart so I don't need to worry about us. I know Nick the booksmith takes hers and does it all in one go between a um, telephone book, but I don't have a catalog that's large enough, so I've just found this works really well. And what I do is just go ahead and punch these through so that when I start to sew the signature in, I can see where I've, I've punched through on here, and that way it will be straight because... <laughs> Oh, it drives me bonkers to see a spine that's not straight. Um, so that's just another little tip. And as I said, guys, I'm going to sew this uh, in. Not, you know, I'm not going to film that because um, you're not going to get a very good view of it. Um, and there's there's plenty of tutorials out there. This is a five-hole pamphlet stitch for anybody who's new. Um, I prefer the five over the three, but if you're just starting, start out with a three. And um, it's just the five when you've got little bits of pe paper, you know, that maybe little um, tag flaps. It's going to catch all of those and hold it in firmly versus a three signature. So, um, okay, let me do that, and then we'll come back and start doing a little bit of embellishing. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have now sewn the signatures in. You can see. So this is how it's starting to look. So I think what we will do is I'm now going to just start adding some embellishments. And I think for this, I might end up coming in and putting some music over it. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes, because this is where it really starts uh, getting slow. <laughs> uh, it, for me, anyways, it, this is the part that takes the longest, because you've got to make them. And um, this is where I'm going to be back and forth to the sewing machine a lot. Now, I did go ahead and make... A couple just to get started here um, ahead of time. And again, this is where I do struggle to. Uh, make conversation because I just get into the zone, I guess. Now these are some freebies um, I just got from Artie Mays. She is so generous uh, with her designs. If you're not familiar with Artie Mays, shame on you. <laughs> um, no, seriously, check her. Um, 
She's got a Facebook group, so you need to join that. And then from there, you know, she, she always has little links to her website um, that you can go to. But you need to join her Facebook group because she has um, lots of... Um, well, she's got a YouTube channel, so you need to check that out as well. She is so talented, and she's always doing amazing tutorials. Um, she's very strong into mixed media, and um, she can just take a kit and turn it into something just unbelievable. So I'm sure you all already know her, but if you haven't checked her out, she's got a YouTube and a Facebook group. Uh, let me just ink this up quickly. If I can find my stuff. <laughs> it's all buried. You guys can't see it, but that other section over there is just completely under, well, you know what? I'll show you guys. Let me see if I can do this without messing up. Because um, I got this plugged in. I think you can see now. What a mess. So that's how my space wor looks when I'm working. I've never done that before, so now I'm curious as when I go to edit this, I'm probably going to have major problems. Which, by the way, major problems. <laughs> I am so sorry for my um, the video uh, with the project for um, Tracy using her kit. Um, I, I know what happened now. At the time, I did not uh, see that it was an issue. And then somebody pointed it out because, um, and I know exactly what happened. That morning, <clears throat> Paul had come in, and as soon as he walks in the door, I don't know why, he always has to say, Gina! And so I knew, as soon as I heard the door go, I was like, oh my gosh, right in the middle of the video, here we go. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and shut the, the video off. And deal with him, whatever it is. And I shut it off. Think the conversation's over. And I clearly state I am in the middle of the video. <laughs> I come back the minute I turn that doggone camera on. Gina! <laughs> and so I shut it off again. And of course, when I went to edit, I knew there was two clips that needed to be taken out. And oh my gosh, did I get myself in such a mess. Because I was trying to delete those while I was processing everything else. And, and for some reason, it just ended up putting everything in the wrong order. <laughs> and I did not know this, you see. until it, And so the other thing is, in my editing suite, Whenever I move on to another one, I always just delete previous projects. And Paul's told me this before. He said, you shouldn't be doing that. But, you know, we have to prove them wrong. And I, so I always delete my stuff. So I couldn't even go back and change it. And I thought, well, I can't go back and just remake the whole thing again because I ain't got time. <laughs> so that's what happened. So I'm so sorry um, and for all that. But, uh Sometimes it just it just happens that way. <laughs> um, now this pocket is this is a, a double pocket, so I'm gonna stick that back in there. It's just so I remind myself because sometimes I, I you know towards the end this is what I was talking about when I try to go front to back and work my way towards the center because if I go straight through you just tend to forget you know little places and. There's nothing worse than to get on here when you are um, doing a flip through and realize, oh, I didn't even put anything in that pocket. Um, and I don't always put stuff in, in every pocket because 
some of the journals are just too big to do that. I should have inked this edge before I put that in, but Okay, so let me see, what else do I need to work on here? Oh yeah, I made a couple of little embossed, and these were just little bits of scrapbook paper that I had, and there was some place I had in mind for this. Sorry, this is where I'm, I'm going to have to go back because I had a specific place in mind when I was flipping through these. Um, and then I just ran that through the embosser and then inked it so you can see it gives a lot of um, dimension there. Well, that's going to bug me now. So sometimes I'll take a um, paper clip and pin, you know, just kind of, you know, attach it to a page if I think that, oh yeah, that was where I was going to do that. But oh, dock on it now, I can't think. So in that case, I'm going to put those to the side because. If I glue those down now, no doubt as I go through here, I'll figure out. Because in my mind, I, there was a spot I thought, oh yeah, that would really look nice. And now, I'm not, let me go ahead and ink that edge. Um, gosh, yeah, I hope this, t this tutorial is not all over the place, but... This is where it can be so tricky when you're trying to do these because with the camera on, you're trying to talk and you know say what you're doing, and it just kind of cuts the flow sometimes. Um, okay. So let's just move on. Let's move on. Ah, this was one thing I had made in advance to go right there. I can get that glued down. So I think that's how I'm going to have to do this, guys, is just kind of go off camera, make a few things, and then come on because... Um, Otherwise, this will just take about two years to complete if you have to sit here and watch me stitch every embellishment, cut them out, age them, <laughs> go to the sewing machine. <laughs> but hopefully, um, you know, it just kind of give you an idea if you're new to it, you know, maybe it'll help. I hope it helps in some way that you can kind of see the stages that you go through. You see, I already see that that needs to be inked up a bit more. And this is how it goes, you know. Each time you turn in a page, you're thinking, oh, okay, that needs something. And you're always, always learning things that you like, that you don't like. I mean, recently, so I've been taking lots of, um, different courses from different people. It's I am finding out I don't like straight edges. And so I'm starting to try to come back and incorporate um, you know, these little bits just to give the edge more um, character. And I don't do it to all of them because there again I think you can you can just do a bit too much. Now that I feel like that would be really nice with, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I've got these, because you know, this this thing is like, oh, rose overdose, but I like, I like it, so I don't care. Um, let me just snip these off, I'm thinking. Think what I'm going to do. Sorry, I know this is very boring watching this kind of thing, but I 
Okay, there you go, guys. Your little hole punch. That Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, how come I haven't come up with that before? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. It only took me three years to figure that out. Oh, Gina, you are a genius. Sometimes I have my moments. Because I was using the little um, circle punch, but my circle punch is about a, uh, do, 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 a one inch. And that will work, but this is much better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, anyways. Yes, I do surprise myself sometimes. Alright, so what I thought here... And no doubt, I should have punched those at the same spot, and I'll tell you why. I love it over here. They'll say, they'll say this, they'll say, I'll tell you for why, and it cracks me up. And the other thing they say is, there's a commercial over here, and they'll say, um, every little helps. And you're thinking to yourself, that cannot be proper English. Surely, but it does crack me up. I love these little sayings. I'll tell you for why. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me laugh. Okay, so because that page, I don't know, it just seems a little bit plain, but I wanted to put it in there because it's a really old page. So let me just get that straight. And yeah, little by little you pick these things up and you're like, I'll tell you for why. And sometimes something else I'll do. As I'm creating, because you can't do everything at once. Oh boy, do I wish I could. Sometimes I'll just start jotting down like this. I make little notes, and you can see, it's just wherever I can grab a pen, and I'm like, oh, okay, before I put that signature in, I want to do this, 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 and so it's just another way, you know, to remind yourself, I did, that's just how I work, you know, because otherwise, oh, I like that, that's pretty, that's just a nice little touch, let me... Trying to make sure there's no white. We don't want white, do we? Okay, there. That's, you know, <laughs> it takes time, doesn't it? All these little things. Um, it just takes ages. Okay, so where am I now? Um, really liking that. Really liking that. This I need to do two tags. Um, I'll tell you what I want to do on those, because I want it to be quite plain. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out with tea dyed paper, because I want this to be quite plain looking, and so I'm going to double up the, the paper. Um, da -da -da. So this is the paper. Um, somebody was asking me, and they said, oh, that looks thicker than copy paper. Um, that's because I use 100 to 120 GSM paper. I think it's, um, I don't know, it's, a, it's like the high-end copy paper. Presentation paper, maybe. Um, so that's why it... I just prefer it. Uh, I don't like cheap paper. I really just do not like the way it feels. It's just a personal choice. Um, so anyways, what I think I'm going to do is run this through and get two tags. Let me 
me see what size tag I'm going to need here. And then I might do a little bit of stitching around. I think this size is probably going to work. Now that's going to be a little bit tight. Because I want it to hang over and I'm going to put the ribbon so that way when the journal's closed you'll still see a little bit of, of the tag. So, okay, yeah, there we go. So what I'm going to do, I've just folded that and I'm going to run that through the Big Shot and then... Um, Actually, I'm going to glue this before I do that together. Um, run it through the big shot because I don't think I want to run this through the machine. So, let me see. Is my glue going to work? It's Monday. It's been off all weekend, so probably not. Um... Okay, let's see. Where's another glue, glue, glue? Will this one work? Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, I don't know, people. <laughs> It's just that my little um, glitter glue is a little bit pricey for this, so I don't want to... Let me just get that kind of... tap down, because I don't want to um, have to sew these tags. I don't, I don't want that look on this, this particular tag. I don't know why. I've just made my mind up that I don't want to, don't want to sew those, so. Alright, um, so let me see, let me shut this off because this is so boring and I'll come back once I've got these done. Okay guys, I've cut those out and, um, just wanted to show another freebie from um, Artie Mays. Isn't that beautiful? She's got that one and this. And this just, when I spotted that, I was like, oh my goodness, that's going to be perfect for this journal. So, um, and it's, i tell you the other thing I've been thinking about, and I might try to do this after we've completed this. I thought it might be really fun to do a journal with nothing but freebies. Um, maybe it's been done before. I'm sure it probably has. You know, everything's been done. But um, I actually think I'm going to do that. And so, having said that, in the comments below, if you know some sites to get freebies. Now, I want them to be good quality. <laughs> um, now, list them below, because um, I know of Artie Mays, somebody else I was thinking about. Oh, it's not going to come to me right now. Um, but anyways, just put in the comments below, and I'll start gathering all of the information and uh, I think that might be the next little project we do is is what would a journal look like particularly you know for anybody who's new because it's very expensive getting into things and this would be really kind of a fun little challenge to see how far you know we could get with a journal um, that's just nothing but, well, I mean, I know it can be made, but I'm saying, you know, I mean, I just know from Artie, the quality of Artie Mays, it would be a stunning journal just if you didn't have anything but her 
freebie. She's got beautiful things on hers, and they're all good quality printouts because I, on Pinterest, when I first started, you know, there was some designers that had, and oh my gosh, when I printed them out, I was just so disgusted because the quality was awful. And I know you shouldn't, you know, don't, please don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining because free is free, but um, it's a lot of ink um, to print these things out and then find out, you know, that it wasn't great quality. Okay. So I, I don't really, I want to cover a hem up a little bit, but what I'm going to do is ink these edges and then we'll start working on this. I'm not going to do a lot of this kind of thing because, um, you know, there's so many places out there to get inspiration on how to make the tags. And I've got some tutorials going way, way back on, um, but, you know, just look in the tutorials playlist. Um, I've got many for making tags, so you can check those out if you want to. Okay. I do love these papers. These are they're really really pretty. I couldn't believe it when I got on there because um, it had been a few I don't know maybe a month since I went on. She's added a lot of things, so that's always nice. That was just a leftover, and I thought, oh, I'll use it up. Because as you know, I'm trying to get through all this stuff I've cut up ahead of time. Goodness, that was a big old mistake. Um, okay, let me dig through my stuff, guys. Let me bring this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to find some little something to go on. Because I don't want to keep using the same things, but I really want to get through this stuff. Oh, gosh. I'll be using those in here for sure. Oh, I'll put that. I like that. I think that, that would look nice. And then we'll get um, Um, let's see, well, do I want to do any, I said I wasn't going to stitch these, didn't I? <laughs> now I'm thinking, oh, should I? No, I'm not going to stitch them, should I? Oh, heck, you know I'm going to have to sew them. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I did decide to go ahead and do some stitching on that. So that's how those have come out. And then the back. Um, so let's just get those in. And that lace was a little bit too white so I toned it down with some ink. Oh yeah. So that's how that page is coming. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, guys, I'm going to um, stop at this point, and then we'll just carry on with another uh, part to this, because as I said, this is where it really does get quite slow, um, and I do struggle to do this on here. So what I think I'll do is, in my mind, I'm going to go ahead and plan out the elements to go in, and then we'll come back and add those. Hang on, I just seen something. Uh, we will add those together on here, assuming I can remember the order. Um, I just I bought these tiny little 
hands. I'm just wondering. Oh, that would be sweet. Let me see if I can get that to stick. Um, this is another thing I'm going to be. I'm, I'm going to have to get some of that E. What is it? E2000. I've got some of it over there, but I'm going to see if I can get a couple of those small. I know they sell it in the small tubes, and I'll bring that back because that's really what I would need to get this to stick. I always do worry about these um because I wouldn't want somebody to get something that's not going to hold let me see if I, let me put a little more of this glue I don't even know this may not be the right stuff let's see if that's going to adhere because it what ideally I should have stitched that just as a, um, I'm going to try that, and if I don't feel that secure, I might come back with another one and sew that. But our, oh, it's so pretty. I just love, love stuff. Look at that. Sweet. Isn't it? Okay, so now i got to get something there. Okay, guys, that's why i got to stop. i got to stop. Um, I will be back with another part, and... Um, We'll see where we're going. Oh, that's pretty. Hmm. That's very pretty, isn't it? I think that might be the one to go there. Let's ink that up. See, I, this is... Oh, okay, I'll just finish this and then I'll go. <laughs> um, But yeah, I think what I'll do, I'll just try to get as much prepped because um, it, it would just take too, too long to do that on here. Oh, that's a pretty one. And then you got the little writing spot there. So little by little, she's coming along. I'm going to set this to the side and let that glue, glue dry and make sure that that's going to be completely secure. Okay. I will go, and I will be back with another part um, as soon as I can get around to it. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you here soon. Bye!